Hey, good morning, saints, targeted individuals, children of the Most High. Um, looks like I will be on the road again. I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going, but uh, here I go again, back on my own. Anyway, today is the 1st of August 2019, and I wanted to give you all a heads up, heads up, heads up. If you didn't watch my video last night, it is a satanic holiday. They are um, killing, doesn't matter if it's male or female or what age, they are killing people and animals, or both, because that's how the satanic losers roll. Um, I just wanted to document this. I told y'all that I had a man yesterday at 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm on the second story of this motel, and uh, I go down the steps. And as the door leads to the outside, to the street, a man jumps out of nowhere and started sweeping right, I mean, literally inches from my feet with a red hat on and a red shirt. Um, this morning I got up, they were doing witchcraft all night, so I didn't sleep much, been in warfare, and that's what I'm telling y'all, we have to do our part and pray against these evildoers. I'm going to give y'all a couple of prayers here in a minute that are working, um, but this is a red alert for all saints, true targeted individuals. You are saints of the Most High. We are angels on the front line in God's army against Satan's army, which is the workers of iniquity in this world, the Satanists, the witches, the criminal cops, the criminal FBI, the, the postman, the fireman, um, everyone. We are the 10%. We're the remnant. So we really have to work hard uh, like how they pray all day and get in their groups even though all targets were all isolated we have the most high working with us and he's way more powerful but we have to do our part and that means call on the sword of the spirit and the spirit of the lord i'm just going to show y'all this morning i got up after hearing slamming slam 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 and these doors are loud here they're like metal and of course they stuck me on the last room i always get the worst room that there is but I, it doesn't matter because at least I got a view and some of the rooms don't have a view even though it's of a parking lot. At least I have light. So, um, ha ha Satan, you didn't bum me on that one. But they put me right by the stairs so people run up and down the stairs, slam, slam, slam all night. So I might have slept about four hours. Got up and I found what is known as an onk. It's like a um, half cross. It goes in a circle at the top and then it goes down into half a cross it's like a circle with a cross and it's an onk this living in new orleans i know many many voodoo practitioners um use this it was laying where i'm about to show y'all i already picked it up prayed against it and threw it out but i wish i would have got this on film but uh now that i saw the next thing they left for me i'm gonna document this other thing so here we go i'm gonna be quiet okay right here so directly next to my room is by this my room is right there the onk was right here and then come on come on down with me got a gaggle of witches in here today this is the door i come in and out of this was waiting for me this morning when i came back from my coffee yep what is it Oh, wow. It's not even a... Wow, this is definitely done on purpose. This is definitely done on purpose. And this wasn't here yesterday morning or the day before or the day I checked in. This is by the ice box or ice machine. And I thought it was a broom. I glanced at it. Here's the slamming. So let's see what we got. Seriously, as soon as I left the room. Oh, and the trash man just rolled by. Could you not? Anyway, yeah, that was done on purpose, y'all. That's not even a broom. It's some... So this is what they do. This is how important we are, y'all. But I wanted to give a shout out. A couple of my viewers over the past week or two suggested I go to Amanda Grace's channel. I've never, 
I very seldom have even time or the option to be able to watch anything being homeless. But um, I had never listened to her before. And because I had two viewers suggest it, I thought, well, maybe I'll check her out. And the Lord led me to her channel. And so I'm giving her a shout out. Thank you, sister. I do believe that she definitely is a prophet from the Most High. And she's talking about basically similar things that the Lord's been showing me. So I wanted to tell y'all that this works. I went out, I had maybe 10% of what I normally have once I started doing this. This is spiritual warfare because our battle is in the spirit. It's not in the flesh. So when we get mad or whatever, that they love it. It lowers our energy. And I know we're human, so we do get mad from time to time, but we release the anger and we come against Satan's cohorts, including the gang stalkers, which are minions for Satan, um, with the sword of the spirit and the spirit of the Lord. So if y'all want to go on Amanda Grace's channel, she's got all these written down under her, her last video. And I'm sorry I didn't write it down. This is spur of the moment because I wanted to get a video of that obvious blatant red hat on a stick uh along I, I should have left the onk up but this morning i just thought i need it out of this vicinity because i knew they put curses on it so heads up this is what they do um i'm going to give y'all what to say against them i just wanted to also give i've been dealing i've been awoke since 2012 actually 2008 but i wasn't completely awoken to it until 2012, but I believe I've been targeted my entire life. Uh, most true TIs we have been. We just weren't awake back then to what was going on. But um, over the past seven years of being completely awake, I've learned a lot of things. And I wanted to give you all a couple tips. If you see, and there's the slamming, um, if you see vehicles, mine are always black, either black SUVs, are black men in black cars, and then sometimes if they run out, they just use black trucks or black cars. It's called color co coordinating, and then they always wear red. The, the people wear red, and it's Satan's colors, by the way, red and black. So anyway, um, if you see paper plates on the back of the vehicles, those are nine times out of ten, they're stalkers. Also, most of the vehicles, they can be nice vehicles, but they have dents in them. Why? Why don't, it, with a nice car, a $30,000, $40,000 car, even a $10,000 car, why don't they get the dents fixed? Because they cause accidents. So it doesn't matter if they fix them, they'll have them dented again, so they just leave them like that. This morning on my 30-minute walk to go get the coffee, I saw two black vehicles in, there was nobody on the road. This isn't a busy area like New Orleans, and both were black vehicles. One was an SUV and one was like a smaller SUV, it doesn't matter, with paper plates, um, temporary tags, right? And then the Lord called my attention to start looking in the neighborhood around the vicinity of where I'm staying. I promise y'all, I counted four black vehicles, three were SUVs and one was like a small black car with temporary plates parked in the driveways and then one on the street in a tiny little walk this is like a half a mile walk okay so that shows how many of these people are around us so heads up that this is some of the things that they do and uh, the reason why they have the temporary plates is so they're not tracked they can just keep switching the plates out uh, most of the hotels i go in by the second or third day i stay there the whole parking lot has half of them or temporary plates. Yeah. Anyway, here's some things to battle the witches, y'all. Say these, say these prayers, and they really were working. They really do work. Okay. Number one, spear of the Lord. Locate and destroy every enemy of my destiny in Jesus' name. By the way, these are biblical. These are biblical that the Lord gives us. Oh, heavens, bombard every evil gathering assigned against me with the spear of the Lord in Jesus' name. And I added, or any targeted individual or the saints. 
Third one, my Father and Lord, locate every hidden enemy of my soul with your spear in Jesus' name. Always say in Jesus' name. Four, where is the spear of the... Where is the spear of the God of Elijah? Pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Every power, shoot, this is five. Every power shooting me from the dark, receive the spear of the Lord in Jesus' name. Six, O spear of the Lord, arise in the thunder of your power and paralyze my oppressors in Jesus' name. Seven, this one uh, Amanda Grace said is only for like severe witchcraft attacks, which I'm having. Drinkers of blood, which is what they do, and eaters of flesh. Yeah, they do that too. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive the spear of heaven in Jesus' name. Number eight. O spear of the Lord, arise and send confusion into the camp of my enemies in Jesus' name. Number nine. O heavens, bombard every evil gathering assigned against me with the spear of the Lord. She said that twice for some reason, but I went ahead and wrote it down again. Number ten. Let the spear of God of Elijah pursue my pursuers in Jesus' name. And 11, let the spear of the Lord arise and fight for me with the mighty name of Jesus. So these are our weapons. Our weapons are not carnal, okay? So do your part, saints, targeted true, targeted individuals. We're on the front lines in this battle, and they are sending demons against the saints. These demons have assignments against us. They want to silence us. They want to take us out. The reason why they stalk and spy is because these demons do not know what we're doing. Once you have the Holy Spirit, they cannot read our thoughts. They don't know what we're doing. The witches would like to make us think that they can read our thoughts, but they can't. Once you're once you have the Holy Spirit, they cannot infiltrate your soul, okay? But Satan can come like he did me and attack my mind, my thoughts, and then I can choose to dwell, or we can choose to dwell on those negative thoughts and then react in a negative way. And then that might lead us into like yesterday I was wanting to drink. Um, they did do their, their best this morning. When I walked by, there was only two people out. They came out as I walked by on a tiny little deserted neighborhood because I went for a walk before it got boiling hot just to get a little exercise. And the Lord speaks to me while I'm out in nature. And uh, sure enough, it was orchestrated. It's all Satan doing it. And a man, a man in a wheelchair, which he honestly he probably wasn't even crippled, but he's in a wheelchair, I guess, to make me feel sorry. And uh, my bad if he really was in the wheelchair, but it seemed very fake. He rolls out onto the end of the driveway as I'm walking. I mean, perfect timing as I'm walking by. This is like not even seven o'clock in the morning. And nobody else is out on the street. And another man walks up and starts asking him about, is this a safe neighborhood? What's it like here? And the other man proceeds to say how they have drinking parties on the weekend. Yeah, that was all orchestrated for me to, for Satan to try to put, Satan knows our weakness, okay? So he uses his satanic robot, clown posse, Sideshow Bob, their distraction to try to get us focused on what Satan wants us to do. And then we can fall into sin or, you know, we can take our eyes off the Lord. I chose to just smile, nod, not give them any reaction, which is what they want, because they want to steal our light and our energy. And then I looked above and a dove flew by me, y'all. Isn't that cool? And it was like a sign the Lord was saying, I'm with you. Way to go. Look up. Don't look down. Okay, y'all, so prayers for everybody. Just know this is a high occult day. We need to do our part by saying our prayers and uh, rebuking the enemy in Jesus' name. And just keep that full armor on. Okay, prayers for everybody. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Again, a couple of y'all donated this past week. I know y'all don't think 10 or $20 is a lot. But if four of y'all do that, that's, that's one night I can stay off the street in a in a little hotel motel but i'm believing i'm asking y'all for prayer to come into agreement that the lord gets me my own little place i need my own place i don't need to share with anybody i need a private little spot it can be a shack in the back but please pray for somewhere peaceful safe and quiet okay and let the slam slamming begin i gotta go into more warfare we're gonna be in warfare all day y'all 
Um, they are doing their prayers against all the saints, all true Christians. We're being silenced, by the way, my YouTube channel. Um, you're not being able to search for it now. People aren't finding me. So the people that have found me, y'all are the remnant. The Lord has gathered us together. I don't believe there's going to be many more people coming onto this team of regulators. So we're it, y'all. So praise the Lord that he's He's brought us all together. Shout out to Sis Michelle. Um, yeah, I know you had three witches come yesterday and leave stuff for you. Well, you see what they did with me. Um, after this uploads, I'll try to go and find where I threw that, that onk thing that they... I know it was cursed, so I wanted to get it out of the building. But um, anyway, I'll, I'll try to find that so y'all can see what it is. They leave uh, different things. They'll leave uh, coins. They will leave um, earrings, jewelry. Uh, they, they take our hair, by the way. But there's no fear. All we need to do is give it to the Lord and do our part by praying and turning from sin. Okay? And yes, Satan comes to kill, 